carrying on with the y-axis rail support. Again, chamfer both sides of the stock on the long edges at less than half the width to make room for the bits bearing. It gets super, super dusty in this bathroom. Confined spaces are probably not the smartest places to do this. Choose a well-ventilated area. Turn the board over to do the other side. It's amazing if you slow down just a little about 20 inches per minute, you see a burn mark. Get accustomed to terms like IPM, inches per minute. This will help in understanding the proper velocity for certain materials. As well as software configuration. Finished chamfering. Now we are starting on the supports to hold the z-axis in place. I actually call these pieces y-axis slide bearing supports. Two pieces in all, and one will house one of the three motors for the z-axis positioning. For both pieces, I measure 5 inches. This gives me enough room for the motor, slide bearing, and Z-axis rail support. Five inches was selected to keep everything close to the Y-axis rail support. The center of balance for the gantry is more easily attainable this way. The cuts are not perfect, but it will have to do. It's a good idea to clean up every now and then. It gets messy working with MDF. The piece to the lower right was made by my old machine. I'm striving to get out a kit. The design for my kit has changed, but I keep the pieces around for good measure. Mark the position for the linear slide bearings. Note, I have not made the correct slide bearings yet. I'm using old ones for the measuring purposes. The slide bearings lengths will vary. I'm using the z-axis slide bearing supports we made previously to guide the marks. Cut the grooves for the slide bearings. It looks like my hand is too close for comfort. I'm actually about an inch from the saw. It's a good idea to keep hands away. Cut down about one eighth of an inch. This will make a great pocket for the linear slide bearings. The slide bearing is rocking. I need to remove the inner material. This is the second piece.
This one is rocking also. The material between the two grooves will be removed. Let's test the assembly. Again, this is tricky without a rigid support. If it is torqued down too tight, it is a little sticky. After loosening it up a bit, it is smooth and still tight and rigid. 